OneNote on portable devices and the web. As smartphones and tablets become more and more part of our everyday life and make the web even more accessible, the need to be able to use programs like OneNote on all of our devices become more important as well. You can access OneNote from nearly any device. If you have an Android-based phone or tablet, you can access OneNote from it. If you have an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, you can access OneNote as well. Plus, there's the OneNote web app. If you use SkyDrive or OneDrive as it's now known, you'll notice there's already a notebook there created for you by Microsoft. In this lesson, we're going to discuss some of the basics of using OneNote for mobile devices or the web. The OneNote interface on Android is a very basic version of what you see on your personal computer or laptop. This screenshot here is of the OneNote interface on the Android app. You can see at the top, there's the heading, which shows the application name and where you actually are in the application. Here, we're just viewing the notebooks. You have the notebook section, which lists all the notebooks that you have on your SkyDrive. Up on the top left, you have the search icon, which is a magnifying glass. And to the right of that, the three dots indicate the options that you can select. All you have to do to start writing a note is click on the new note button or open an existing note. If you're on the home screen, then tap the name of the notebook, and then the name of the section, followed by the name of the note. You can see the interface here in the two screenshots. There's the notes section, which covers the main area of the screen. It also includes the title and when the note was created. Down the bottom you have the keyboard. Tap in the note pane and the keyboard appears. You can create lists such as bullets and checkboxes from the keyboard. There's also a camera button. You can use this to add a picture to a note. It'll be a picture that you take with your device. The microphone button lets you record notes, which we'll get to later. The three dots in the top right section show the menu as you can see here. It allows you to add a bulleted list, a numbered list, increase or decrease the indent, or apply formatting. If you need to add list elements to a note in OneNote for Android, tap into a note. You can press the top right icon to show a menu which includes bulleted list and numbered list. You can select one of those options and the text that you have in your note will change to that list. If you don't have any text, you can select one and the bullet will be created. You can then start typing. If you're on the go and don't have time to stop and type notes, you can also record them. OneNote will translate the words you speak into text right there in your note. To record notes, Tap the note pane where you want to take notes if you're typing. You'll see the keyboard appear. Now tap the microphone button. You'll see the recording section, as you can see on the left there. Speak into the device's microphone. Tap the stop button to stop recording. The audio recording will then be placed into your note. Since the iPad is a larger device, it's not as crowded as OneNote will seem on an iPhone or iPod Touch where the buttons and tabs are close together on the top and bottom of the screen. However, the elements of the interface are the same in all iOS devices. These elements include the Notes pane. If you're in portrait orientation, the Notes pane takes up the entire screen. In landscape, it takes up the right two-thirds of the screen. Above the Note pane is your current location in your notebook. The List pane. This is your list of notebooks. Tap on a notebook and it will move to the top of the list. The Back button. The Back button is located in the upper left corner of the interface if you're not on the home page. It's a left-facing arrow. Tapping it will take you back to what you were looking at previously. The New Section button. Next to the Back button is the New Section button. Delete Email and New Page buttons. These are in the upper right-hand corner. View Icons and Search button. There are three icons at the bottom of your window. Tap them to change the list pane view from Notebooks to Unfiled Notes, Search View and Recent Notes. The Keyboard. Tap in a note pane and the keyboard appears. You can create lists, bullets and checkboxes from the keyboard. The camera button. Use this to add a picture to a note. It will be a picture that you take with your device. To write a note, tap the new note icon in the upper right hand corner. You'll then see a menu. Choose create note unfiled or create note in the current section. Accessing the OneNote web app is done through your SkyDrive or through Outlook.com or OneDrive as it's now known. OneDrive comes with OneDrive storage, so you don't need to do anything to get a OneDrive account except for sign up for an Outlook.com account or purchase a suitable version of Office. Once you access your OneDrive account, you'll notice that there's already a notebook there that Microsoft created for you by default. The name of the notebook is Personal Web. The OneNote web app can be accessed by doing any of the following. 
clicking on a link of a notebook that someone is sharing with you, opening a notebook from an email when you're logged into Outlook.com, or go to OneDrive and click to select the notebook you want to open. Right click and then choose Open in OneNote web app. When you open OneNote online, this is what you'll see. You'll see all of the notes and notebooks that you've created. Click on the notebook to open it. The major elements of this interface are tabs and ribbons. Just like with the computer version of OneNote, you'll see the tabs and ribbons. You can also see your account name in the top right, in addition to the sign out and help, which is a question mark. The list pane is on the left and shows your section and notes in the notebook that you've opened. The note pane is on the right. It's there that you can see the note that you've opened. Take some time to explore the interface as well as the tabs and the ribbons to familiarize yourself with the app. You can use the web app to create new notebooks, sections and notes. We're going to cover all these in this section of the course. To create a new notebook, log into your OneDrive account. At the top of the screen, there's a blue bar. Select Create, then OneNote Notebook. You cannot create a new notebook from the existing one that you have open in the web app. You must go to your OneDrive account to do this. To create a new section, click on the Insert tab and select New Section. You can see it appears on the left. In the, you can see it appears on the left. To create a new page, click on the Insert tab and select a New Page. It also appears on the left here.